Hello, my name is Bradley Hanstead, team captain of Team Think Tank, and this is our official BattleBots 2016 application video. Tetsumoto is the founder of Team Think Tank and built several robots for the original BattleBots. And in the blue square, introducing Ringmaster! While Ringmaster was a highlight for Team Think Tank at BattleBots, we didn't stop there. Ted continued to innovate in combat robotics, and when I joined up, we created the robot Team Think Tank is most famous for, BD-6, our 220-pound heavyweight that competed at BattleBots and even beat Tombstone. In fact, none of our four victories were over 30 seconds. Unfortunately, at the very next event, Tombstone actually destroyed BD-6. But to a builder, this is a blessing in disguise, as it means we get to rebuild it even better. In order to start where we left off VD6, Techimoda and I have decided to team up with Team Bad Kitty in our pursuit of a champion 250 pound robot. There is no more time to play around. We are completely serious. But we do have a little girl driving one of the multibots. Don't worry though, Katie Mason's gonna show the world what a girl with a combat robot can actually do. We've gotten them up to speed on the basic design philosophies when going up to a larger robot, and they've been helping us design in 3D software exactly how we can build our next destructive robot, Bad Kitty. The design is comprised of a main 220 pound robot and either a 20 pound lifter bot or a devastating drone. Now let's talk about our main weapon. This is our weapon system. This ran in VD6 and BattleBots in 2009 where it beat Tombstone. This spins vertically. Two inch thick AR500 disc. This uh, E-Tech gets applied about 60 volts in the new version. Uh, and being it's a 72 RPM per volt motor, that means this motor is spinning normally about 4200 RPM. After it gets belt reduced down to the weapon, you're seeing about 2100 RPM. We have a design that is true to Team Think Tank, and we always deliver destruction. Bad Kitty will have a steel subframe and a composite outer body. <laughs> Let's now meet the new team members of Team Think Tank. My name is Martin Mason. I'm 43 years old. I have graduate degrees in physics and robotics. I'm the chair of engineering at Mount San Antonio College, and I also run the robotics team there. My name is Tommy Thomas. I'm 26 years old. I work as a lab technician at Mount San Antonio College, and I work on the side selling robot kits for high schoolers. My name is Katie Mason and I am 12 years old. I have been doing combat robots for four years since I was eight. I wanted to get into combat robots because when I was younger I would see my dad working upstairs on regular robots in the garage. He encouraged me to help him work on bigger, better robots with weapons. I got into combat robots four years ago through a competition Mount SAC hosted at RCX. I built a robot, a vertical spinner, and competed and won the rumble. I've been working in robotics for nearly 20 years. My primary research interests have been in humanoid robotics and in human-robot interaction, specifically children working with robots. I got into combat robots four years ago when I realized my engineering students didn't have a lot of the fabrication skills required to be successful in their engineering careers. So what are our responsibilities? I'm going to drive Little Kitty, which is a cam-powered lifter. and. Its main motive is to get underneath the larger robots. To help fabricate the robot and to fix it when it breaks down. I'll be driving our Flybot. I'll be using FPV to go and find the enemy robot and rain down destruction. My responsibilities for the team are to bring my background in electrical engineering and robotics to really help them step up their game. We're going to have some autonomous systems and monitoring systems on the robot. We're going to also make sure that all of our electrical motors, speed controllers, and everything else can handle the very high voltages and currents that we're going to be putting them through. So how do people describe us? Normally people are like, oh, when I first met you I was really scared of you. Like, I don't know, I thought you were going to kill me or something. I don't know why they say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're, that, you're that crazy professor guy, and I think I got that reputation because there's always smoke coming out of the garage and fire and, and all kinds of other things going on. And so I have this reputation of being, um, I guess, a, a little nutty. I'm not! Not at all. They tell me that I talk about robots too much and how I would like to make my cat a robot so that I wouldn't have to feed it, but, you know, they gotta learn. Outside of combat robots? Well, I do more combat robots. Uh, I run several events in Southern California and I live stream them as well. Uh, in addition, I help with a 15 pound combat robot league in Southern California it has about 20 area high schools, colleges, community colleges, and youth groups, and I also build kits for them. 
You'd be a fool not to seriously consider us, let alone think that we don't have a chance at winning the big nut. What do you say to people that think that uh, girls can't do this? They're wrong. <laughs>